Hello, my friends. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the differences between a handpan and a rav vast. I play both of these in a professional setting. Uh, I perform with them, I teach on them, and they're both amazing tools for creating music, for improvising, for sound healing. However, each style of instrument lends itself to a particular use. Um, and we're going to investigate that a little further. But let's take a look at the B Celtic scale first, and then we're going to compare that to a D Celtic hand pan in stainless steel and also nitride. So let's take a look at that. All right, so here is the B Celtic. Here is a stainless steel de-Celtic. This is a denitrated pan. This is a magic hour, but it's similar to the Celtic. Unlike the hand pan, the rav has more than three notes tuned into each of the tongues. On the rav, you have a vibration that's moving in one motion like this, but also each of the individual cuts represent a different note. So you have six or seven tones tuned into each tongue. Because of this, these instruments are very harmonic rich. So you're not just dealing with the octave and fifth, you're dealing with a bunch of other partials associated with that note. And we can hear that when we strike a note, by how it decays. So you hear the fundamental, that's often aided by the sympathetic resonance of whatever other note is on here, but as you hit the note, it starts swelling after a second, and then the fundamental decays, the lowest note, and the harmonics stay. And this is really the characteristic of ravs compared to hand pans. You have this quick decay or quicker decay of the fundamental and a longer sustain for the harmonics. And it's the harmonics again are the higher pitch notes you hear. So another fundamental difference between the hand pan and rav is stability. Hand pans are going to need to be retuned once in a while. Ravs can be thrown in your car and you have to worry about someone hitting them too hard or them getting bumped while you're on a trip or traveling or performing. So they're a great choice for people who want to have an instrument that's very stable and a little more carefree in terms of where you can take it and what you can do with it. Um, this serves me well in classes. I like to bring these for classes. I'm teaching a 15 person class. I'll teach them all in the B Celtic because I can hand them to a new player and even if they haven't gotten the strike down and they're learning, they can still get a noise pretty quickly and I don't have to worry about them knocking it out of tune. So it's a really valuable asset for that. So you'll notice on the nitrided pan, there's a lot more finger noise. You can hear more contact. And the harmonics are very present. Uh, but they're present in a different ratio than the fundamental.
So the interesting thing about stainless steel has a different sort of bloom and characteristic to sound. Um, so it's a different sort of decay, but I would say that stainless steel is closer to what the RAV sounds like in terms of the sustain and the type of decay of those notes. And they have a bit punchier of a ding, typically. sense of the type of sound that each of these produces. I'm going to play the same note on both the rav and the handpan. So here's the note on the rav. Here's the note on the handpan. You can actually hear how the decay is different, the attack is different, and also the way the note dissipates. The rav is much smoother without as much of a uh, movement up, whereas the handpan has kind of an increase and then a decrease. Alright, so here's a piece played on both the rav and the handpan. the same on the stainless steel handpan. So neither one of these is better than the other. Um, you'll use a handpan in particular cases, and you'll use a rav in a different case. But you can apply the same concept across instruments. So although the striking area is slightly different on a handpan, you could still take anything that you've written on the rav and transfer it to the handpan, and vice versa. If you have a, a Celtic scale, you could take that and transfer it to the handpan versus the rav scale very easily. Um, the skills translate without much effort. The other thing to consider between the two of them is handpans are fragile, they may need to be retuned eventually, and they do take more care, whereas the RAVs are now rust protected. Um, so there's a, less care, less worry about heat and temperature, and they're, they're just very durable instruments. So the sound preference is really on you uh, and what you want to use them for, but I perform with both of them uh, professionally and I teach on both of them. So both amazing things if you're able to get one or at least try one. So hope this was helpful for you guys and I look forward to talking to you soon. If you have any other ideas for videos or comparisons you'd like to make, please comment below and I'll see you next time. Stay well, friends.